Wednesday, Parsha Shoftim, and do Ois Vuv and Zer Shem Shem. Zer Shem Shem goes on the Pusik in Parak Chuf, Pusik Aleph. It says as follows, Ki Sai Sai, Lamelchuma Alevech, when you go out to Melchuma, when you go out to war with your enemies, Vri Isa Sis Verechev Am Rav Mimcha, and when you see a the horse and its chariots and its riders that are much more than you, greater than you, you shouldn't be afraid of them. Because Hashem, your God, is with you, the one that took you out of Mitzrayim. And Rashi says on Sis ve Rechev, he says as follows, klim Why does it say Sis? It's talking about a whole army. Why does it say it in, in a singular form? It's because for me, it says the Ibish they're all like one sis, one like it's like, like one horse. Is it? I'm gonna I'm gonna go and fight the entire army like it's one horse. And Rashi says he brings down another pusik that it says in Shmois by Itzias Mitzrayim, it says Kivos sis paroi. That that also over there, it's talking about even though there were many horses, it's one, it says one, it says sis, well, it's Lushen, a yuchid singular form to show us that by the Ibish it's all considered one. On that, on the spot, asks the Sif Sechachoma that why does Rashi bring down the Pusuk of Kivo Sis Parai? There's a Pusuk earlier, and it says Kol Sis Parai. Why doesn't Rashi bring down that Pusuk? So answers the, the Sif Sechachoma that because it says kol sis pare, it's mashma that it's all of them. That means that the you can't bring a, a proof from here, you can't bring a raya, that by the Ibishta a lot of horses is in his eyes like one, because it says kol sis, all of that. So that's uh, like also already telling you that it's plural. But asks the Zeshemshin, it's still schwer, it's still a question. Why doesn't Rashi bring down the Pusik of sis v'roichvoi? Which is also before the Pusik of Kivos is Parai. Sis Viraichvai, the horse and its rider, comes before Kivos, uh, Kivos is Parai. And also, asks Zer Shimshin, from Parshas Vayishlach, where Yaakov Vivini tells Isav that Vahili Shor Vachamor, that I have a Shor, I have an ox, and I have a donkey. He only has one ox and one donkey. He has many. He has many, many of them, as we know. So what is what is what is, what does it say over there? It says over there that it's like their herds that they call oxen. They call it ox. They they don't say shvarim. They even by a lot they say shor, just like you call it says a tarnagol. You don't necessarily say tarnagolim in a plural. You say tarnagol in singular. Also over here, you say shor and chamor instead of shvarim and chamorim. Right? Just like in English, you say for many fish, you still say fish, you don't say fishes. Same thing over here, that's how people talk. So he says over here, so why do we say that it's kivo sis paroi, that it's a chushiv in the Ibishta's eyes, like it's only one sis. Maybe that's how they talk. A lot of horses called sis anyway, sis v'rechev. Why does it have to say sisim v'rechevim? It doesn't have to say that. People talk, and and, and the, the lotion is, and the language is that sis is also plural, just like we see by Yaakov Avini. So answers the Zer that one can answer the other. With one teretz, we can answer both. Rashi brings down, sis, if, if Rashi would have brought down sis v'roichvoi as proof that it's talking about a lot of horses, it's considered only one, it wouldn't have been any proof whatsoever. Why? Because we could have said that the Pusik is talking about like people talk. People call many, one, they say, instead of saying sisim, they say sis. That you could have said. And for that reason, that's why the Rashi brings down a raya only from Kivos Sis Parai. Because on this Pusik it's Shver. Why does it have to say Kivos Sis Parai? It could have just said Kivos Sis Veroichvoi, Yifiroshov Bayom. Why does it have to bring in the word Parai? And, and for the LMI, what it is saying, it's saying that there's a Chiddush over here. 
Because if not, in the beginning of Oz Yoshe, in the beginning of before this, and it says, Sis Veroich Vayyam Avayam. It doesn't say a, a para, it just says, Sis Veroich Vayyam Avayam. So here it could have also said, Kiva Sis Veroich Vayyam. Elamai, it has to be that there's a Chiddush over here. And what's the Chiddush? So it says the Shimshin, because it says in the Major Shir Shir, it says that Pare was riding on a male horse. And Kaviyucho the Ibishta was Niglatim revealed himself to Parai also on a male horse. And then Parai said that a male horse isn't good because it killed the rider, it killed its owner during the Chuma, during war. So I'm gonna ride on a female sis. And and so on and so on. Vata went the same thing. There was another excuse why he had to get off of the female horse. And then it says that Pari went on a red horse, and then he went on a white horse, and then he went on a black horse. And Kaviyucho the Eibishter revealed himself to him also on a red horse, on a white horse, on a black horse. That's what the Medrash says in Medrash Yashir. And we see from here, says Zer that Pari really was on many horses. And it still only says Kivo Sis Paroi, even though it was many horses. So what do we see from here? That it since it didn't say Kivo I Sise Paroi in a plural, it only said Kivo Sis in singular. So for sure it has to come to teach us that by the Ibishta, it's Chushiv, all these horses, there's only one horse. And, the, and that's why Rashi says, and the Puzik says, you don't have to worry about it, because in my eyes, says the Ibishta, all these hundreds of horses is considered only one, and you have nothing to fear.